Hello and welcome to Data Science in Your Pocket. Today in this video, we'll go through one very exciting computer vision model which I have been using recently and I have used it in one of my projects and it has given very good results. So I thought of uh, sharing it with you all. This model Dino V2 is by Meta, yes, or Facebook, whatever you want to call it. And it has been around for a while. Uh, I think it came last year, but um, I got to know about it few months ago and I used it in one of my projects and that's why I uh, thought of sharing it with you. So um, I'll go through uh, the basics of it and then uh, we'll go through some uh, technical part, how to set up, how to have the installation and all. Then I'll also let you know how to fine tune it. And by the way, this is... Uh, my blog and I have written about it in detail uh, so you can also check it out I will give you the link in the description or in the first comment itself so yeah let's go ahead so Dino V2 is uh, largely based on vision transformers and I will uh, later on I will let you know what are vision transformers and the USP of this model is that it is self supervised uh, model basically it does not need any labels to uh, get trained and that is something which makes it different uh, than the other traditional computer vision models and it is actually able to do all the basic uh, vision tasks that is detection classification segmentation and um, image retrieval uh, re-identification and all of that so let's go ahead and check out the basic features of Dino V2 so as I told you that it is uh, a self supervised learning model um, basically it does not need labeling of images while you are training it so uh, in traditional models you have to label uh, the images uh, life in classification task or in uh, detection task but in this case you don't have to do uh, that and uh, it and it is due to vision transformers. So what are vision transformers? Basically they are um, the brains behind the eyes. You can say eyes are the Dino V2 obviously which, uh, the mod, which sees the image. And uh, vision transformers are actually kind of transformers which uh, see the image as a whole. So in uh, traditional methods we cut the image or you can say we divide the image into pixels and each pixel is analyzed so most of the models follow this method they analyze each of the pixel but in vision transformer it analyzes the image as a whole and kind of tries to uh, bring them together so that it can have some meaningful uh, output from it so that is the big difference and as you can see here uh, they are great for learning complex visual representation so when they see a whole image together it is able to learn the complex things in the images for example there are many animals in it and they are all different uh, so in this case vit uh, vision transformers are a very good tool to use so uh, dino v2 actually stands for self distillation with no labels so um, it had its first version that is that was dino and now its version 2 so uh, it essentially is the main thing about dino v2 that it actually uh, creates different versions of a particular image when you give it an image for training it actually uh, creates its versions like it zooms in uh, the image it rotates it maybe cuts it into different parts and then trains itself to understand that it is actually the same image so for example if you give give the Im image of of a cat then it will try to rotate it it will first analyze the the um, the face of the cat and then uh, maybe it will uh, make the image upside down and then analyze it and then at the end it will uh, tell itself that this is the same thing same cat we have been seeing so it in this way it is able to generalize its training and and this happens on its own so that is something which is very important 
in traditional format we have to give the data such that it has all the variety but in dino v2 you don't have to do it which is a very very uh, productive way of training a, a vision model because traditionally we have to generate to generate a variety of data we have to use a lot of manpower which involves annotation and you know cleaning the data so in this case uh, that manpower and that time is saved so that's why uh, Dino V2 is very important in this sense. So I'll quickly go through the second part of uh, installation. Dino V2 has its own uh, repo. So you can go through it and it's quite easy actually. You can install the requirements and then you can um, obviously if you have a GPU then it's a plus. And, uh, and if not then you can also try Google Collab uh, for at least pre-trained model testing the pre-trained model and then you have to use the transformers library from hugging face uh, just uh, call it and then you have to use its uh, auto image processor dino v2 for image classification uh, in this particular example i'll show you the classification method of uh, the classification function of uh, dino v2 uh, you can obviously do other things like detection segmentation and then you can evaluate the pre-trained model. Pre-trained model itself is very good and very generalized. It performs very well across different uh, use cases. I have tested it. So uh, you can definitely uh, start with it and obviously fine tune it. I'll also uh, let you know how to fine tune the um, Dino V2 model. Then you can have an image as a test image. Uh, simply process it, then run the inference and you'll find uh, a output a predicted class you can obviously print it or you can visualize it as well uh, simply by using matplotlib and yeah that's it i think so that it is that easy to use this very powerful model and then uh, we'll go through fine tuning as well uh, quickly uh, so you have to organize your data um, in the very traditional way uh, have a train and val set then you can for ob this is obviously for classification and uh, if you want the object detection or segmentation then you can uh, use the label image um, tool to annotate the data and then then you have to go ahead and uh, install the data sets library so so that you can process your data set easily and then load it then simply use transformers library of hugging face it's very easy uh, obviously comparatively easy um, then you have to add a layer so that you can make it a classification model this is specifically for classification tasks uh, you have to add a layer and then then yeah you have to call the trainer give the training arguments as per your need and uh, start the training that's it and then you can evaluate the model in a similar fashion uh, give an input have the predictions and then you can calculate the accuracy metrics you can visualize them as we saw in the uh, second blog uh, these are the these are some general uh, methods of uh, training a model uh, computer vision model with efficiency so yeah that's it i think uh, dino v2 model as a whole is a very very good package especially for computer vision tasks and uh, one very good thing about it obviously is that it needs uh, uh, no label data for training and it is also very generalized i mean it performs very well very well across different use cases so you can actually um, use it as a starting point for many real world uh, use cases so yeah, that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.